Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. The Centerville Washington Foundation is getting ready to honor two very valuable and wonderful community volunteers. And here to tell us more, we have those honorees. We also have someone from the Washington Township Foundation. So let me introduce you to Judy and Dr. Charlie Goodwin and also Jack Lobeck from the Centerville Washington Foundation. And thank you all for being here. Sure, thank thank you. you. So before we jump in to our honorees mm -hmm. who have such a distinguished background and are still volunteering probably on a daily or weekly basis, Jack, tell us about the Centerville Washington Foundation. The Centerville Washington Foundation is a community-based foundation, part of the Dayton Foundation. And our focus is to take uh, contributions from both corporate and individuals that want help in focusing their philanthropic works into our local Centerville, Washington Township area. And each year you select someone or a couple to honor as the with the Founders Award. Correct. And in what we look for in the Founders Award, you could we could probably go back. Halos over their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> no, I don't think we don't look too hard for that. Wings on their back. Then That's we right. Can say that. <laughs> but if you take a look at some of our past winners, yeah. Bob Corbin, uh, Doris and Dave Ponents, uh, the Elam family from Bill's Donuts, the Zangle family, people that have that, people that make up the fabric mm -hmm. of our community and really make a difference. That's right. In our in our community. That's right. And when the Goodwin's name was suggested, it was a unanimous choice. I can tell you, uh, sometimes we, we go through and say, who are we going to honor, what, what are we looking for, and when their name came up, um, it, it was an immediate yes. And so we are certainly honored that you accepted the invitation for, to be our, our 2014 uh, uh, Founders Award. Well, we're certainly honored by this. So. Well, when you, when you got the call that, that said you're going to be recognized with the Founders Award for, for all of your community service, Judy, what were you thinking? I was thinking there are a lot more people that deserve it better than I do. <laughs> Spoken like a true volunteer, right? I mean, that's I mean, I could, I could think of a half a dozen people. But your hmm. background really is with schools, right? Give us right, an idea right. of how how much you volunteered and how long you volunteered. Oh, let's see. Our oldest one is 40 and I started volunteering when he went to kid, started kindergarten. Okay, so you have a few so, years of volunteering guess, under your belt. Yes, <laughs> and I volunteered all the way through all four of our kids, through all three school systems and uh, And then you've still also there. had a lot of leadership positions as well as a volunteer. Right, yeah. Yeah, I was I was a uh, PTO president at MAGSIG and I was on the PTO at, uh, at uh, at the high school and just had my fingers in all kinds of little pies in the grammar school. Um, and you're still with the I'm still with education? the Centerville Education Foundation, Foundation still. I've been this, been there for, for over 15 years on that board. So you're, you're giving a lot <clears throat> of time and your husband here is giving a little <laughs> bit of time too and obviously you're, you're uh, uh, very involved with scouting. That's right. For I'm hitting my 28th year now. And you are mentoring scouts, or tell us what role you play with this with the Boy Scouts. I'm scoutmaster for Troop 236 in Kettering. We actually have about 170 boys from uh, 15 communities and 10 school districts. That's incredible mm -hmm. because when a lot of groups are looking and recruiting and recruiting, what is it about your troop that keeps boys coming? We have an active program that the boys select. We do some high adventure program every year. And we do our own five-day leadership and scout skills camp that we started in 1987. And I can let the boys lead, and I just stand back and watch them. I don't have to do very much. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. <laughs> but you're also um, a surgeon at Children's Medical That's Center. correct. I came there in 1977. So you're already busy working, and it sounds like your kids are out of school, and they're <laughs> moved on to their own lives, and yet you still choose to volunteer, especially with children. Why is that? I don't know. It's just a habit now. <laughs> and I really like the results of the things that we get with the Education Foundation. Uh, we really support the teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, one of the things that we do is uh, we encourage the teachers every year to apply for a grant of up to $500 for something that they would not be able to do for their classes. Uh, just a special enrichment project of some sort and um, 
they come up with some fantastic things, mm -hmm. and then we showcase those at our, our annual dinner in the spring, which uh, recognizes excellence in education. Every um, school could submit a, a nomination uh, for, their, for their particular group, and we also have a, uh, an excellence in education award for the top high school student, which is voted on by the students. So education is very important yeah. to both of you. Right. Absolutely. Supporting education. And Charlie, mm -hmm. you were saying before we started the show that you had, w w how many Eagle Scouts over the course of, of your time? We, well, the troop is at now 329. I've been Scoutmaster for 231 of those. We've got another six just waiting on boards review and, and another uh, 10 or 12 who are just completing Eagle projects. I, I haven't worked on an Eagle project since Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of work achieving Eagle and it's a lot of mentoring that, that you have to do as well. It is and, it, and it's, it's amazing the things that these boys have done. You know, one of them for instance uh, developed part of the electrical system for the uh, space shot to Pluto. Wow. Do you keep in contact with some of those uh, 231 boys who are I now do. obviously men? I do. I, he I hear periodically from them, yes. Yeah. And so over the, the course of time, as we said, your, mm -hmm. your kids are out of school and you're, you're still working, you said, uh, part-time. Part-time, huh? Why do you keep going back to the Scouts? I think it's the only organization I know that specifically teaches leadership. And um, it's amazing to watch these little fellows. Some of them are you know, they're a real pain when they start. <laughs> and I think we help them grow up, we fine tune them. And, and it's amazing the things that they do. We've, we've had now several who have used their life-saving skills and, and have saved lives. They've been in the right place at the right time. Wow. Uh, two brothers rescued an extended family of five at Myrtle Beach. Another group brought a boy down off a mountain peak at Philmont saved his life. Another one rappelled down a, and rescued a fisherman who'd fallen out in Oregon. And when they, when they interviewed him, he said, you know, I didn't do one thing. I didn't learn as a 12-year-old Boy Scout. That's incredible. All these skills that you mm -hmm. learn as a kid, if you keep developing them, you're... Correct. You never know... You all the way you, through life. You never know if you'll be the one to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. And I'm sure you've made a huge impact on both of you, on so hundreds and hundreds of young people. And a way that you can recognize them is at this um, awards reception, which is October 22nd Correct. at Yankee Trace, right? Yes. The uh, reception starts at 5.30, and uh, depending upon the speeches, we'll be over around 7.30, quarter to 8. Uh, you can go online to um, our website, and that's www.centervillewashingtonfoundation.org. And uh, there's information regarding that and uh, we'd like for a lot of people to come out and, uh, and celebrate the, uh, all of the volunteer activities of this fine, fine couple. Yeah, all the good works that you've done over the years. For, for people who may not be familiar with, if you wanted to say contribute to a fund, Yes. And their name, is that, will that be something that will be established or how will that work? Well, the Centerville Washington Foundation has uh, an undesignated uh, funding group and we take contributions in anybody's, in, in anyone's name to recognize anyone. And these, these donations are focused on local activities and local philanthropic activities and, and also some community government uh, uh, activities. We. I was going to say the we, list is long, but give us did, an idea. We did. We did. Yeah, that's some right. Of the uh, contributions. That well, uh, the, uh, the one I was thinking of just there was the uh, the dog uh, that oh, the we police dog the police that dog we that we uh, we uh, contributed a thousand dollars for. We've given some money to the park districts for different things. We also uh, do a lot of uh, projects with partner with some of the not for profits like the castle that 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 help people that that are in, in need. Uh, we also, there's a, uh, a lunch pack that goes home to kids that just don't have food. It's a, it, there are food needs. Food to go program. Food to go. Right. There are needs in Centerville. So I know that's um, twice a year, not-for-profit organizations in Centerville, Washington Township could submit yes. for a grant. We have, we have grant cycles twice a year. And uh, we will have, the next grant cycle will be toward the, ends of, towards the end of the summer. 
And a good place to go to find out more about yes. would be your website, which Correct. is centervillewashingtonfoundation.org. Yep. You can find out more about grants, and you can also read more about these fine folks. But um, I'm sure you've been recognized by other organizations before. Yes? No? No, no this is the first time. Well, then they, that's wonderful. I was going to say, so, so what do you think that night's going to be like? It's going to be real interesting. <laughs> I, I was glad to see Judy finally get something. I've got all these ribbons and things. I look like a South American dictator when I wear them. <laughs> so together, have you been recognized together before? No, first no. time. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. And you were saying you had, you had four children mm -hmm. who all went through Centerville schools yes. and, and, and were scouts. Correct. The, the three boys are all Eagle Scouts. My daughter wimped out a Girl Scouts on me. <laughs> you were a Girl Scout leader, leader too. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. So Emily, see, yeah, Emily was, wanted to do the things her brothers were doing. It, it was just too artsy for her. So. Well, you know, everybody makes a choice, right, everybody's right, different. Right. And I think if she had, the Scouts have a, uh, you know, their, their venture program now, I think would have been appealing to her at the time, but we didn't have that program, so. Well, would, you, mm -hmm. have you seen Boy Scouts change over the, over the years in terms of programs <laughs> offered? Well, I think it takes more today to keep them involved. You know, when, when I grew up, we, I was 11 years old before we had a television, and we had one of the early ones. Today, they've had this constant high sensory input entertainment, and you've got to keep them on the, on the fringe of danger to, <laughs> to hold their interest today. Well, now they've got this venturing program now for, uh, for boys and girls between 14 up through 20. And so we've got, I think, about 30 or so in that, in addition to 170 boys in the troop. That's just amazing, and and really, if if these folks look familiar to you, and they probably do, if you've been around the community, because you've been in the community for how long? Since we moved here in '77. Since 1977, mm -hmm. right. and and all the good works that that you've done, you can go on October 22nd, but you need to have tickets in advance, yes. right, Jack? Okay. Reservations. Yep. And and again, it's from 5:30 until about 7:30. You can go to CentervilleWashingtonFoundation.org to get ticket information. You can also find out more about the foundation, which as we said, as part of the it's, Dayton it's, it's a community fund that's part of the, the Dayton Foundation, yes. And I think your website is very explanatory, too. So if, you, if you're just curious yes. about what goes on with the foundation, you, you can go and check that out. Um, also, we want to thank you for your years of service. I, I guess this is just the tip of the iceberg because you're, you're raring and roaring to go. You said you just were volunteering two days ago right. on an Eagle project. So I hope I'm, we're not keeping you. <laughs> from, from, and, and the projects these kids do are unbelievable. They really make a difference. They put in, you know, thousands and thousands of hours each year on community service work. And, and I think we're, we're instilling that in them. Somebody's going to have to carry on. And, and I think these are the, these are the fellows who, who are going to be able to do it. They're all, learning all leadership the skills. Yes, was, yeah, right, the they're skills. learning leadership skills and, and they're learning to, you know, it's important to volunteer. And, and to give back, which you two are beautiful examples of giving back, not only once your kids are done, because a lot of people think they're done, I'm, I'm done, but you continue to give, and it sounds like for you, education, Judy, is so important to, right, and to, right. continue to support teachers. And, and really, all four of our kids have learned to volunteer. They all yeah, volunteer. I where they, got that from. Yeah. they all <laughs> volunteer in some, in some facet. I was dragging Emily to help me in the library since she could, you know, since she was little. Uh, things like that. Um, and they all volunteer in some aspect. Uh, well, this is definitely so a, a well-deserved honor for you, and we congratulate you. And I know you'll enjoy it on October 22nd. Again, you can go to CentervilleWashingtonFoundation.org, or if you have questions, you can always call the city at 433-7151. Thank you all very much for being Thank here you. and sharing Thank your you. story. It's extremely in inspirational. You can read also more about them in the Centerville Town Crier. For more information, you can go to centervilleohio.gov or call us again at 433-7151. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you all again. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.